The festival finished. I only had one day left before I had to catch my train and leave Bella Riva behind. I couldn't go without saying goodbye to Carmen. So that evening, I made my way to the cafe. It was unrecognizable. She'd done it. Best food in Bella Riva. Half the town was outside waiting to see what the fuss was about. Maria! Maria! My favorite sous chef, come on through. It was Carmen, acting every inch the successful cafe owner she deserved to be. Even Helena was there, serving the coffees. This was the last place I expected to see her after yesterday's drama. Carmen led me through to a balcony upstairs, where she brought out an old record player. I found out where Helena was on the day of the festival. She was selling her camera to clear the cafe's debts, but then she didn't have much left for herself. So, I've asked her to come and stay with me for a while. We have a lot of catching up to do. I wanted to give her this to cheer her up. We listened to it all the time when we were kids. Do you think it has one last tune in it? Okay, let's see what happens when we turn this on. The speaker isn't connected properly. I should check the wiring. The speaker isn't connected properly. I should check the wiring. The speaker isn't connected properly. I should check the wiring. Here's the problem. This wiring isn't connected properly. properly. I should check the wiring. That's the speed dial connected. Now we should be able to change it. The speaker isn't connected properly. I should check the wiring. should do it. This record should play beautifully. Hmm, it's spinning the wrong way. How can I get it to play in the right direction? It must be to do with the motor. Let's see if one of these spares can turn things around. Turn the volume up, I should be able to hear it now. This motor doesn't seem to work. Maybe I'll have better luck with a different one. it's playing in the right direction. I should check it's turning at the correct speed. The 
record player's crackling tune must have caught Helena's ear as she appeared a few moments later. Is that my old record player? I can't believe you've kept it all these years, Carmen. Leaning over the music, they looked just like the young sisters the slide projector had preserved all these years, inseparable once again. Carmen told me about your camera. That was a really generous thing to do. I loved that camera, but I love my sister more. Now it's her time to be the person she wants to be. I'm going to stay here with her for a while. Make up for lost time. Carmen and Helena's relationship wasn't suddenly going to be perfect, but they were both prepared to try. And to think, it had all started because of a call Carmen made about some seasoning tips. I guess in the end, maybe it wasn't so hard to just pick up the phone and dial. I hadn't spoken to my own parents in a year. I wanted to hear their voices more than anything. But the silence between us was so cavernous. I didn't know how I'd ever find the words to bridge it.